All right, here we are, full self-driving beta 10.2, activate. Today's experiment is we're going to be testing out some roundabouts. This is day three of having the software. I've done some testing. If you've seen my other videos, thank you very much for watching and commenting. If you haven't, uh, go check those out. I've already covered the Las Vegas Strip, and I've tried testing out just a simple drive going around to a Starbucks, and it's handled a school zone and a four-way stop so far, and today I'm gonna check out some roundabouts. So here we go. Everything seems to be functioning normally. It's just after sunset, and I'm doing this actually intentionally where it's still kind of light out, but it's not um, sunny necessarily where we're going. I've noticed that frequently when it's darker out, full self-driving beta is uh, less smooth when it comes to the steering. And that's something that I think that probably has some way to go in, in terms of improvement. But as for now, with going with this drive, we have plenty of light out. It should be a relatively smooth experience. And I want to see if this can really handle a roundabout, first of all, smoothly. Second of all, if it can do it properly and use correct signals and not mess anything up and certainly not confuse anybody around me. Oh yeah, I put together this video, first of all, to demonstrate some really cool technology, but second of all, hopefully to earn your like and subscribe. Full lane. Okay, here we go. This is the roundabout. Look, it gets 15 miles an hour is what's recommended. I'm going to slow this down a little bit to 25, which is the speed limit. It's slowing down. It put a left hand blinker on. It stopped. It's going through. That was really smooth. I expected it actually to go straight through. It didn't have any limitations on going. There wasn't anybody stopping that we had to yield to. Because the concept of a yield is that you slow down and then stop if you can see there are obstacles and if there aren't, then you go. Here's another one coming right up. This is like the only spot in all of Las Vegas that I know of where it's more than one roundabout in a row. This is not slowing down yet. Okay, so this did not slow down at all. I was ready to disengage if necessary, um, but both of those cars were not obstacles, so I, I didn't have to, but just now it did not slow down like it did the first time. So I'm not sure which one is the more consistent result to expect. Um, there's one more roundabout coming up right here. the sign for the roundabout. I'm slowing it down to 25. It's also really good that there is traffic around me at the same time so I can see how the computer interprets what to do properly. Okay, we've got the blinker on and it just went for it. And again, it didn't slow down. So the first one, it braked pretty hard. The second two, it didn't. So I'm going to disengage autopilot right here. I'm going to do a U-turn. And then I'm going to give it a destination that's on the other side of those roundabouts. And it's activated. It slowed down right away this time. Um, I did activate it without giving it enough time to think. Okay, so it did just slow down again. It sped up, it crept forward. That was impressive. That took it really smoothly. It looked like it did check. It saw one other car in the roundabout already, and so it slowed down. After it crept forward, it slowed down again. I'm gonna leave it set at 28 miles an hour. The speed limit here is 25. Okay, so once again, we have a yield sign, the red and white triangle on the right. It's slowing down a little bit, turn on the blinker already. It, okay, so it slowed down all the way. It slowed down to two miles an hour. 
worth of a stop before proceeding through the roundabout this time. And there was no traffic in the roundabout or near the roundabout when it slowed down. And we have one more roundabout to, to test before we're through here. This will be the sixth time going through. Of the five times we've experienced so far, three of them, the car slowed down first, two of them the car didn't. One of them might have been my responsibility of initiating autopilot right before the roundabout, so I didn't get to see the car's full thinking process. But here we go, same thing, blinkers on, no slowing down this time. Okay, a little bit slowing down, slow down to 21. Now it's slowed down further to 10. And then it accelerated through. So I'm not totally sure if it's supposed to be slowing down further, kind of like how it would at a four-way stop before it enters into the roundabout, or if that's something where the car is deciding based on interpreting how much traffic is around in the nearby vicinity before making a decision. Either way, full self-driving beta 10.2 can handle roundabouts. Okay, uh, conclusions and thoughts. Um, thank you to everybody who's been commenting on my videos and giving me feedback. Um, my conclusions and thoughts from the roundabout test, it seems to work well. It's not consistent. I'm not sure if that means that it's something that needs some extra work before it's confident in roundabouts. Um, I could see it deciding to slow down and brake, confusing other drivers around me or maybe frustrating drivers behind me because the idea is that if the roundabout is clear then you aren't necessarily needing to stop all the way down to two miles an hour before you proceed. Um, it still handles it just fine, it handles the markings well, um, it, so it's able to do roundabouts no problem. It's maybe not the most consistent just yet. Um, what are your thoughts below? Drop me a comment. I'm loving these discussions that we're starting in my YouTube videos. And uh, let me know if you have an idea for something else for me to test with full self-driving beta. And uh, please go check out my other videos. Uh, I'll put a, a link up in, I think, that corner. Thank you very much for watching.